Welcome to this new video. Today we are going to expand a few classes so that we can create a well-functioning logout system. We will further expand our Spring Authorization Server with Logout. In this video we build on the code from the previous video. In the previous video, we created a custom token relay gateway filter factory in the Spring Cloud Gateway. Now we will extend the code of the Spring Authorization Server. We start with the MyOIDC Logout Authentication Provider which implements Authentication Provider. We need this extension to make the logout work better. As you may know, the ID token is required for the OIDC logout to work and the validity of the ID token is only 30 minutes. This means that we cannot log out after 30 minutes. That's why we need to modify the OIDC Logout Authentication Provider class a bit. This piece of code checks whether the ID token is still active, we need to remove the TRO error here. In the first part of the authenticate method we get OAuth2 authorization from the authorization service with the ID token. This means that we are not allowed to refresh the ID token in the Spring Authorization Server. That's why we have to adjust a second class. My OAuth2 Refresh Token Authentication Provider which implements Authentication Provider. In this class we have omitted the part where the ID token is refreshed. We only refresh the access token and the refresh token. The ID assigned is not changed. To incorporate these two new classes we need to adjust the configuration. In the security filter chain we configure the MyOAuth2 Refresh Token Authentication Provider and the MyOIDC Logout Authentication Provider. After adjusting this video together with the custom token relay gateway filter factory from the previous video, you can install a properly functioning logout in the Spring Authorization Server. That's it for today, thank you for following and supporting our channel.